In 1907, at China's Mogu Caves, known as the Caves of the Thousand Buddhas, which forms a system of 500 temples, thousands and thousands of ancient documents were being examined here by Orel Stein when this large diagram was discovered, rolled up and sealed in a pottery jar. This is a Buddhist diagram of Mount Maru, and so-called experts say it dates to the second century and that this reflects a sacred site of a stairway which connected the heavens above with the earth below. Wait till you hear this. This ancient image has been compared by experts to be a blueprint for a particle beam accelerator in modern times. The most significant comparison being that of a cyclotron, which is an atom smasher used in the development of atomic weapons. Ancient Mongolian mythology suggests that celestial beings dwelled around Maru because of the energy that was emitting from it. Ariel Stein's diagram of Mount Maru seemed to show Mount Maru as some kind of particle beam accelerator or some device that was stacked up with different lenses. It would have made it into a device that focused tremendous amounts of energy and perhaps the ancients managed to harness this energy by replicating on Earth what they were seeing in the sky by releasing the conductive properties of stone materials like granite, which contains quartz. Ancient structures all over the world contain such stone. This was the densest available where other more lightweight stone, which would have been easier to work with, was shunned in favor of granite, the unfinished obelisk being one example and it would have stood 132 feet tall. Mount Maru, according to Hindu and Buddhist documents, rises up from the very center of the universe to a height of 84,000 yajamas, an ancient Indian unit of measure, above the surface of the earth and the same distance down into the earth. It is 252,000 yojanas in circumference, one Jojana is roughly 10 miles, so we can calculate that the circumference of Maru is more than two and a half million miles. Planet Earth, with its circumference just under 25,000 miles, seems to be a ridiculously small, insignificant cog in the machine of the universe. In myths and legends, a mountain is often the symbolic image of the axis of the world. Often also used as symbols are the Tree of Life, ladder, stairway, pillar, or column, and of course, squatter man. This was the manifestation of holiness. The ancients preserved this documentation so that we would know the world that once was and the cataclysm that destroyed it. What we class as mythology is their testament to the event. We still hold the religious text in the highest regard, but the true meaning is lost to us. This ancient diagram not only looks like a modern atom smasher, it also looks like these images documented in the petroglyph record. This assimilates as culture re-emerges to the master of animals, a clear documentation of the ramping up of the Tauros field phases in the Squatterman event, emanating from the outpouring of Kronos' demise. Remember, you are God in disguise, but who is shining the sun? the moon? Who is growing the grass? Who set in motion the epic battles of the microbiology? Do you beat your own heart? Do you grow your own hair? In fact, you do all these things. You shine the stars. Every fiber of your being will reject these ideas by design. All the world's a stage on purpose. Enlightenment is realizing that all is one. This is what it means. All is God, shattered into ignorant pieces on purpose. <laughs>